Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday, Fizzy Friday. Happy days. Gym's opening tomorrow, so that's very exciting. And are you someone who's feeling a little bit wary of the gym's opening? You know, how things are moving forward? Or are you super excited and ready to go back and are desperate to get back? Uh, you know, mixed reviews uh, from what I've been, been hearing so far. So, but I just want to kind of talk to you about, you know, over the last couple of weeks, I've really come to understand that, you know, as much as we want to be go, 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 you know, we want to do well for ourselves, we want to make a successful career of ourselves, just want people to know that, you know, if you are having a bad day or a bad period, that that's, that's, that's life. Um, and if you are having a bad day, not to beat yourself too much up. And, you know, that comes down to just being more self-aware. And sometimes we are not self-aware because we live in such a capitalist uh, culture, making money, you know, trying to earn as much as you can to have financial freedom, to live your best life, which is not always true. Um, it's not always true. And, you know, at what cost does it sometimes come at when, you know, you're sacrificing your mental and emotional well-being for it? Because you could be so go, go, go. But if you're not, you know, if you're not, if your mental and emotional well-being is uh, kind of sacrificing itself at a cost, you know, you've got to, you've got to think to yourself when you start to become run down and you're not feeling yourself and you're feeling flat and you have no drive and you haven't got your mojo, you haven't got any inspiration, but you're kind of going through the motions to make money, money, money. It's just like, okay, well, how, how, how is that actually going to really affect you in the long term? Um, you, potentially lead to huge burnout and mental, emotional and physical burnout. Uh, but when it comes to mental and emotional burnout, it's really important to try and spot it before it comes because once you come into that burnout situation, you need some real kind of reevaluation on, you know, what you really prioritize because burning out, you know, it is it is draining. It is really draining and you don't feel like yourself and we don't, you would never want to feel like yourself. Um, I, I must admit I burnt out two weeks ago just before going away for a couple of days um, because, you know, I was in this thing of go, 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 trying to make the most of lockdown, which was great at the time, but then I burnt out and then ugh, I didn't feel myself. And I actually thought to myself, I thought, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change a thing, but I've learned so much and I've learned to... You know, not beat myself up by having a bad day. And life is not linear. And if you are having a, a period where you're not feeling so productive, you're not feeling so proactive with everything, then, you know, that's, that is fine. And just to not beat yourself too much up because everyone out there has bad days, bad weeks, bad months. So to think everyone has the perfect schedule where they're super productive all the time, they go, 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 and you're... You're overthinking in your, in your own mind, your anxiety is going up, being like, why can't I be like that? You actually don't know what that person's like. So just to not beat yourself too much up. And that's really important because the more you beat yourself up about having a bad day, the more you get trapped into uh, programming your, your nervous system to focus on those negative emotions, um, like, which, which is termed neuroassociations. So... When, when you're f so focused on you know, all your negative emotions, all these negative thought patterns, uh, and your brain, your brain heightens its emotion towards you know, how you are feeling. So, and, it, and that can be a really hard, uh, kind of difficult trap to be in. Because once you're in that trap, it is, can, can be very difficult to get out. And being aware of that is you know, super powerful in the first place because so many people aren't aware of that. And, they let emotions get beat up more and more, and um, their mental, they get mentally fatigued, uh, and that can lead to all sorts of issues. Whereas if you actually spot it, and you kind of sit back and you think, well actually here, I'm not feeling myself, you know, I, emotionally, you know, I'm pretty drained, pretty flat. And then to actually take action, go and working on it. And, you know, we, we work on ourselves for our careers, I'm trying to, get new knowledge, be the best we can be, which is great. And that's, you know, that's what life is about, trying to be the best version of yourself. But it's also about trying to be the best version of yourself from your personal self, your personal development. So if there's a side of you, and I challenge, I challenge you, if there's a side of you that you would like to improve, so for example, me, 
I'll just give this example just to kind of demonstrate what I'm getting at here. The last couple of weeks, you know, I've really realised that I need to control my emotions better um, about kind of enjoying the whole journey more, enjoying the whole process more, because I feel like in the long term, being very self-aware, that's going to affect my quality of life. Um, if I'm so fixated on the future goal and I'm not actually enjoying my quality of life in the moment, and it doesn't it hasn't come easy to me, and you know I've been doing a lot of um, reading and stuff, and reading this fantastic book. Um, I just strongly recommend it actually to anyone by Tony Robbins, which is called Awaken the Giant Within. And it's just like it's all about processing and programming how to be more emotionally enriched. So actually, your quality of life throughout, no matter what you're pursuing with your goals, your dreams, you know your quality of life doesn't compromise in the moment. Um, so that's just a little example, um, and I think we can always focus on that. And just being self-aware, that's super important. So just to kind of summarise, you know, if you are having a super bad day, don't beat yourself up too much because no one does. You know, no, no one has the perfect day over and over again. No one has the perfect week over and over again. No one has the perfect month over and over again. Uh, and we sometimes beat ourselves up because we think we're falling behind uh, and everyone else is pushing forward. Um, and it could be the same, a big one as well, when you see someone your age and you're thinking, oh, you know, why are they there and I'm here? Everyone grows at different parts. Everyone grows at different times. So just to say, you know, someone else is being super successful now at your age, you know, life is a journey. They could get to 10 years down the line. You might have grown and blossomed, you know, really working on yourself. And as a result, your career's flourished. And that person hasn't. Uh, they've had short-term, you know, success when they were younger, but, you know, life got in the way and they started to slide down and they started to go into many kind of mental and emotional issues. So it doesn't work like, oh, if someone is super successful, you know, at your age, if you're young or if you're especially kind of in your in your 20s, that, you know, it's not like it's going to go linear up and up and up and they're going to be like Richard Branson when it comes to like 60. It just doesn't work like that. And I think some of us need to really strongly realise that. So just really remember, you know, not to beat yourself up because having bad days is natural. Having bad days is normal. And we beat ourselves so much as humans because it's all about money, money, money. There's this pressure to make money in this capitalist culture. Uh, and actually sometimes at what cost does that come? And sometimes it's good to work on ourselves and on, on our emotions, which will affect our mental well-being as well, being positive. Because in the, the day, we want to go through life living an enriched quality of life in the moment, uh, enjoying the present, enjoying the journey, and not being so fixated on the end goal. Yes, you know, there does come times, you know, when you, you need to make compromises in the here and now uh, in order to get to your longer term goal, because we're in an instant gratification society and sometimes you need to, you know, reel that in in order to, you know, push where you want to be. But that doesn't mean that you still can't, like, enjoy the precious moments, the small moments in life right now. And uh, getting that balance between, you know, working and being with your loved ones because you could be super successful in the future and you can see all these people being super successful, but what does it mean if you can't share that with anyone? Uh, so sharing it with your loved ones is super important and that's kind of my message, to not beat yourself up because I've done that in the last, in the last month or so and I've learned a lot and from, from what I've read and taking time back on holiday a little bit this week as well. To, and I don't want uh, you guys to make the same mistake that I did because I don't want you to burn out. Um, it's not a nice feeling when you don't feel like yourself. So just that little message. I hope that really helps. Um, and, you know, it's not all about working on yourself and your career. You know, if you feel like you need to work on yourself as an individual, then that's so powerful when you can admit, you know, you're not, you're not quite where you want to be, but you're taking actionable steps to constantly analyzing and improving in order to be your best self. So I hope that helps ladies and gents and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and see you on Monday.